Let's just buy two massive sets of oil from the US. And there we go, Italy has been deciphered, so I now get all kinds of bonuses against the Italians too. And we have space for more aircraft. Do we have multi-rolls? We have loads of multi-rolls. Oh, wait, no. Wrong. Let's use exile manpower. And we also have three here, so let's get another Typhoon. Wrong. Let's do that again. Nope, that's wrong too. That plus that. Okay. And... I think I'm just going to go ahead and start another wing, because it'll automatically reinforce back to full strength. And that one I forgot to make French. Let's try that again. Okay. Now we're really starting to bring air power here. And it's going to really cost them to try and do these attacks. away at this guy he won't last forever advancement in cruiser designs that's for the valentines infantry weapons six pounder and 17 pounder and then centurions oh and this one will allow us to get american units oh it also reduces air doctrine and land doctrine cost I'm being port striked. They killed a destroyer. Speaking of which, how is my surplus looking? Okay. It's looking pretty good. Oh, but you've taken a bit of a beating. That must mean that there's been a big naval battle. Yeah, all of your battleships are out of action. Interesting. Right, where are you? There it is. Oh, what a result! So, we caught the Japanese surface fleet with uh, three light carriers and one heavy carrier. We didn't catch any of their carriers, but we lost four destroyers. We sank six heavy cruisers, seven light cruisers, and 25 destroyers. And we also destroyed a couple of planes. Not a huge number, though. Um, hopefully we can continue to chase down. Like, we still have our carrier standing. No capital ships, though. This is a bit dangerous. Alright, let's make sure that this is done appropriately quickly. I kind of want to make sure that you guys repair my ports. These are all rubbish. Um, you can probably repair in Australia. Actually, this is a good question. How many dockyards do you have? Four. Australia, 11. So Australia can do with some of the repairs. But the reason I'm blocking all of these ports is because they just don't have enough dockyards to do the repairs in a quick time. So I'd much rather that my ships went to Malaysia 
Although, wait, didn't I build you a bunch of shipyards for this? Yeah, you've got 10. So I split between Australia and Malaysia. I think you're okay. You know what, we'll leave Batavia open. Aha, Beauforts, nice. Let's go and upgrade our Beaufort to the Mark 3s. And... <clears throat> we should probably get a Snorkel, just because it could be added to some of the newer submarines most likely. Survival training, which gives us better acclimatization. Let's also get these. Now, Somerville, did you get promoted from that? Yeah, you did. I'm not surprised. Alright, so how much of a boss are you? 10 attack, 6 defense, 6 positioning, and 6 maneuver. He's pretty good. He knows his stuff. And he's a genius naval maneuver as well now. Right, speaking of which... Yeah, Somerville is here. So you can just click on them to remove them. Right clicking didn't work, but left clicking apparently does. Good to know. And we are still really short in oil. set themselves properly. It's taken too long. They should be separated up like this. This usually means that they slipped into a port somewhere, which I must have missed. And they're trying to repair as one blob. Where are you? Oh, you're in Singapore. Okay. Now you're being repaired. There we go. Actually, most of your light cruisers survived. We could put you onto like raiding stance. The hell is using up all my fuel? Uh, Air Force. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's not surprising. My Air Force is bloody huge. Oh man, look at the Soviets go! Our Germany is just in full on collapse mode. I think this is it. I think this might be pretty much the end of the war. And D-Day hasn't even happened yet. Success there too. Awesome. And we're pushing here in Burma. The Balearic Island ceded to the Kingdom of Italy following the reliance on Italian forces in the Spanish Civil War. The Kingdom of Italy has requested the Balearic Islands from the nationalist Spain. Franco has acquiesced, highlighting the diplomatic move as strengthening the bonds between the two nations. Bearing in mind that Spain is actually in the Axis right now. Hey Midge. As you can hear, still rather rough. Like, it doesn't hurt anymore, it's just... sounds hoarse. Like, I think I had such a bad sore throat that it just eroded everything in my vocal cords, and now they're just having to rebuild themselves. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, Germany's trying desperately to oust me from Greece, but ain't gonna happen. This is Mountaineer territory, and that's who I have defending. Speaking of Mountaineers, can I build the new heavy AT? No, I'm still researching. That's you. Had the same thing yourself, took three weeks to recover. Yeah, there's definitely something going around. Krzysztof said he had it too. I have a feeling I got it from him. Alright, I think that we can do some more Naval Doctrine stuff. Carrier organization, like carrier organization. Um... Submarine rating efficiency. We do have quite a few subs out. Uh, now I need to make a decision. Do I want to upgrade my submarines or do I want to upgrade my carriers? We are building a whole bunch of new carriers. We should probably upgrade them. Especially because our submarines are basically unopposed. We are still running out of fuel. What the hell? Do we just not have the capacity to refine it? Is that a thing? Oh no, I'm refining 18,000 now. Okay, there we go. Now we're building our stocks up. And it looks like the air bases here in Greece are getting bigger. Oh yeah, much bigger. Do we have any more typhoons and thunderbolts? Yeah, we do. With French pilots. And you know what? Let's bring these guys in closer. Get better coverage. There we go. Perfect. Now, I think what I might try to do is prepare another naval invasion, because why not? It's kind of what we do. We're British, don't you know? get that prepared. I feel like the American tanks and mountaineers can hold this. I don't want to oversubscribe because otherwise we'll just be out of supply. And the marines are supposed to be an offensive force anyway. Uh, speaking of, how are your training going? Slowly. Oh no! Aha! Let's have you go and join them. <coughs> And there's the 17-pounder. Here we go. Build me some of those. Give me like three. We should be back to military factory construction again soon. Very, very soon, in fact. And we're going to be able to build a lot. Like, I haven't actually done that much development in Britain per upper. July 43. Oh, whoops. What are these? Forgot the industrial stuff. Shavrash, coming in with a 34 month resup. Thank you very much for that. You are just two months away from the three year resup. And Brug, coming in with a 31 month resup. Thank you very much for that. It's huge. It's Donna we've got this too. I don't use tactical bombers, that is irrelevant. 
Air mission efficiency, I mean, that's basically always useful. Attack, ground attack. Hello. And we, yes, we can get some ground attacks, uh, army stuff at last. I feel like I haven't really done very much with these doctrines. Uh, so the bulk of my armies right now are artillery and infantry. Better recon, the better breakthrough. Or we could start on these. All infantry, motorized, mechanized, go organization. Planning speed versus max planning. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to pick. Oh no, we can't choose that one yet. Okay, never mind. Hmm, planning versus max planning. I wonder what I'm going to pick. Although this one does have massive breakthrough and soft attack. Uh, infantry, motorized, mechanized. My infantry don't do a huge... Actually, no, they're all heavy infantry. Hang on. My infantry soft attack is actually pretty good. Oh, these guys. Light infantry. Yes, they are. So this really would be just the heavies, which is these guys. And also the marines and the mountaineers. A planning bonus. Well, ah, ah, ah. One thing I should mention is planning bonus in this mod is massively reduced. Which is why the planning speed is basically irrelevant, because the numbers are so low. Yeah, see, I didn't go for the max planning stuff before I went for the attack and damage. So I think I'm going to go with shock and awe. I'm going to go superior firepower. I'm not doing my usual thing. See, I, I can be adaptable. I can change. Every now and then. Did you get invader? No, still not. Most of the way. Well, it's because the landing into Greece was basically unopposed. Meanwhile, Richard O'Connor still ruthlessly pushing the Japanese back. Not a huge amount they can do about that. Adopting the foreign designs. We've got the Shermans. We've got the Courants. Let's integrate those foreign designs. Get the Sexton and the Firefly. Firefly, of course, being the British-built Sherman. Because I'm curious about whether I can just build those for no extra cost. So, Sherman 5. 33.5 versus my Churchills. Which are rather more expensive. But I don't really use medium tanks. I use heavies. I haven't even been using my heavy units in this attack. It's not flat enough. I think what I might do is get these guys to prepare for a potential out to sea very very quickly there oh can't get to that uh, fine you'll have to risk it stop just sail however you want oh geez that's a big shortage uh, oh I'm out of convoys buying so much fuel Easily fixed. 
We just rally the might of British shipbuilding for a short time. Didn't know you can assign different pilots. Is this possible with other units or ships? It's possible with land units, although it works in a different system. With ships, unfortunately not. That's actually one of the things that would be really nice to do. Um, I might talk to Bradley about that. Just been streaming some. Schedule that for Monday at 9. Cool. <clears throat> Darth Lord Fishy, thank you very much. Oh, hello, in fact. <laughs> that wasn't a thank you, that was just... Oh no, it is a thank you. I did read that right. Thank you very much for the 35-month resubscription. You are just one month away from the three-year resubscription, which of course comes with the either purple or pink wings. Can't ever remember which, but thank you very much for the ongoing support. Hope you're doing well. And also Oxoft. So, uh, when producing an air wing, as you see, you can change the manpower usage with this button here. If you want to do it with ground forces, you have to do it as a template. So you go to recruit and deploy, division designer. Oh, that's wrong. You go to this button here. Click to view templates of subjects and governments in exile. Then you choose one of your subjects in exile. Well, you can do that with these guys too. I did not realize you could do it with the exiles. So whose manpower does this use? Theirs? And then you press the copy button. And then what should happen is when you go to your division designer that unit should appear here. That's what these are. So I think I've been doing that already. Um, and then you can edit them as normal. And if you hover over the manpower thing here, it should show you whose manpower is used. See, I have a bad feeling it uses mine. Oh no, exile forces draw manpower from the government and exile. So it's not a split. So it's not like puppets. So you can create exile divisions that way, which I hadn't actually realized. I thought it was only puppets. And it's not all exiles. This is only Norway, France, and Poland. I wonder if that's because their legitimacy is high enough. Division recruitment. It's that one. So yeah, Norway... France and Poland can do it. The Netherlands got really close. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Philippines got really close. Like, legit. And the benefit for that is exile divisions have like a 25% bonus fighting against their oppressor. So they can be really good to do. And then the other thing you can do here is puppets. And then you can build these using puppet manpower. So, for example, if you wanted to use Indian manpower, which can be a good idea. 
I can't because they're actually free. If I wanted to use Pakistani manpower, I'd click on that and then I'd copy this. And that would basically mean that these units would use their manpower. It would use a split depending on the puppet level. So it'd be like 90% theirs, 10% uh, ours, depending on what level vassal they are. And then you can also edit these templates once they're in your division signer. So once they're in this list, you can just hit edit and then you can change them. And that uses your own uh, army experience. And I think these divisions use your equipment with their manpower. So it's a good way of keeping uh, exile troops in the fight. Right, research. So we just got the Churchill Mark III. Let's get the Churchill Mark VII. This is going to be a huge upgrade. We've gone from ones to sevens in like a hundred days. Defense goes up by seven. Breakthrough goes up by a lot more than doubles. Hardness is the same. Soft attack is much the same. Hard attack almost doubles. Speed's the same. Hit points the same. Armor almost doubles. Piercing doubles. Reliability goes up. Fuel usage actually stays the same. And it's only very slightly more expensive. And we may as well also get the Valentines now that we can get them cheap. <clears throat> and we could also change Avro out again for Supermarine because 1944 is going to have a wave of these planes although we could also then get the Lincoln in fact, we could research the Lincoln ahead of time. That means I'm replacing the Lancaster too early. That doesn't feel good. Alright, you guys ready for an attack? You are. Go. Go, go, go! Take from them Thessaloniki. Let's bring Greece back into the fight. We should also try and take the uh, islands. Fort training. Water training. Marine hard attack five. Yeah, I think I want to do that one for the tank training because it is not ahead of time. Oh no, hang on, I want industrial stuff. Hold on. I'm behind the times on this. And also the fuel refining. So the Valentine, get me fuel refining. Go. Alright, landings are about to hit. There are fights, but it's immediately lost. Um... How much do I want to screw them up? Let's see if I can get in behind them. 